Do you know which fruits are best and worst for diabetics? Today, we're diving into this juicy topic. Not all fruits are created equal, especially when it comes to their sugar content and glycemic index. These factors can significantly impact blood sugar levels, making some fruits a sweet treat for those with diabetes, while others may spike their blood sugar. So let's peel back the layers and get to the core of this matter. Stay tuned to learn about the best and worst fruits for managing diabetes. First, let's delve into the fruits that are best for diabetics. Imagine biting into a juicy peach or a crisp apple, savoring the burst of flavor while also knowing that these fruits are doing wonders for your health. That's right, peaches and apples are among the top fruits recommended for those with diabetes. They have a low glycemic index which means they won't cause a sudden spike in your blood sugar levels. Plus, they're packed with fiber, which helps slow down the absorption of sugar into your bloodstream. Next up we have pears. Pears are a fantastic source of vitamins and fiber. They also have a low glycemic index, making them a great choice for people with diabetes. The fiber in pears can help control your blood sugar levels by slowing down digestion and preventing spikes in blood sugar after eating. Blueberries and strawberries are not just delightful to eat but are also super beneficial for those managing diabetes. These berries are rich in antioxidants and fiber, helping to regulate blood sugar and decrease the risk of diabetes-related complications. Plus, they're relatively low in sugar compared to other fruits, making them a great choice to include in your diet. Kiwi is another fruit that's excellent for diabetics. It's not only low in sugar but also high in vitamin C and fiber. This fiber-rich fruit can help you feel full longer, reducing the urge to snack and helping you maintain stable blood sugar levels throughout the day. Apricots too are a stellar choice. They're low in carbohydrates and high in fiber making them a good option for those with diabetes. Plus, they're a great source of vitamin A which is essential for healthy vision. Cherries might be small, but they pack a powerful punch when it comes to health benefits especially for those with diabetes. They have a low glycemic index and are rich in antioxidants which can help protect your body from damage caused by high blood sugar levels. Last but certainly not least, we have oranges. Oranges are a great source of fiber and vitamin C. They also have a lower glycemic index than many other fruits, which means they can help you manage your blood sugar levels effectively. Each of these fruits offers unique health benefits, but they all have one thing in common. They're great for those managing diabetes. They're low in sugar, high in fiber, and have a low glycemic index, making them a smart choice to include in your diet. Remember though, that while these fruits are beneficial, they should be consumed in moderation as part of a balanced diet. It's also important to remember that everyone's body responds differently to different types of food, so it's always a good idea to monitor your blood sugar levels after eating to see how your body responds. These fruits are not only delicious but also great for maintaining stable blood sugar levels. So the next time you're reaching for a snack, consider choosing one of these diabetes-friendly fruits. They're not just good for you, they're also a tasty way to keep your health on track. Now let's switch gears and discuss the fruits that diabetics should consume less frequently. First on our list is the ever-popular mango. While mangoes are packed with vitamins and fiber, they are also high in natural sugars. This can lead to spikes in blood sugar levels which is something diabetics need to be careful about. Next up we have bananas. They are a great source of potassium and vitamin B6 but the downside is, they have a high glycemic index. This means they can raise blood sugar levels quickly, which is not ideal for someone managing diabetes. Raisins are essentially dried grapes and in the drying process the sugars become more concentrated. This makes them a high glycemic food, capable of rapidly increasing blood sugar levels. Pineapples, while delicious and refreshing, are also high on the glycemic index. They contain bromelain, an enzyme that can help with digestion, but their high sugar content can be problematic for diabetics. Dates are a natural sweetener and are often used in desserts as a healthier alternative to sugar. But don't let that fool you. Dates are extremely high in carbohydrates and sugars, making them a less-than-ideal choice for those with diabetes. Lychees are a tropical fruit that are high in vitamin C and fiber. However, they also contain a lot of sugar. In fact, a single lychee has about a teaspoon of sugar, making it a fruit to consume sparingly if you're watching your blood sugar levels. Watermelon, a summer favorite, is unfortunately high on the glycemic index. It's also high in fructose, a type of sugar that can lead to high blood glucose levels if consumed in large amounts. Lastly, we have grapes. While they are rich in antioxidants, they also have a high sugar content. 
a small bunch of grapes can easily contain more sugar than a diabetic should consume in a day. Now it's important to note that just because these fruits have a high sugar content or glycemic index, doesn't mean they are off limits for diabetics. It's all about balance and portion control. Consuming these fruits in moderation, along with a balanced diet, can still be part of a healthy lifestyle for diabetics. Also remember that everyone's body reacts differently to different foods. What might cause a significant rise in blood sugar levels in one person might not have the same effect on someone else. So, it's always a good idea to monitor your blood sugar levels and see how your body responds to different foods. While these fruits can still be consumed in moderation, they should not make up a large portion of a diabetic's diet. It's always about making informed choices, and now, you are better equipped to do just that. Let's recap what we've learned about the best and worst fruits for diabetics. We've taken a deep dive into the world of fruits, exploring which ones are your allies and which ones you might want to consume with caution if you're managing diabetes. It all comes down to sugar content and the glycemic index, two important factors to keep in mind when choosing fruits. On the side of the allies we have peaches, apples, pears, blueberries, strawberries, kiwi, apricots, cherries, and oranges. These fruits are relatively low in sugar and have a low glycemic index, which means they are less likely to spike your blood sugar levels. They also come packed with fiber, vitamins, and antioxidants contributing to overall health and well-being. Peaches are a powerhouse of vitamins A and C, while apples known for their fiber content help regulate blood sugar levels. Pears with their impressive fiber content are another great choice. Blueberries and strawberries are antioxidant-rich, offering a host of health benefits. Kiwi, apricots, cherries and oranges come with a good dose of vitamin C and other nutrients, helping boost your immune system. On the flip side, there are some fruits that you might want to enjoy in moderation. These include mangoes, bananas, raisins, pineapples, dates, lychees, watermelons and grapes. While these fruits are nutritious, they have a higher sugar content and glycemic index, meaning they could potentially cause a rapid increase in your blood sugar levels if eaten in large quantities. Mangoes, despite their high vitamin C content, are high in sugar. Bananas, while rich in potassium, also come with a significant amount of sugar. Raisins, pineapples, dates, and lychees, although packed with nutrients, are high in sugar and can cause a blood sugar spike. Watermelons and grapes, while hydrating and delicious, are also on the high sugar list. It's important to remember that everyone's body responds differently to different types of food. What works for one person may not work for another. Always consult with your healthcare provider or a dietitian to determine the best dietary plan for you. Remember, balance and moderation are key in managing diabetes. So, there you have it. The best and worst fruits for managing diabetes. We've taken you through an array of fruits that can either be your ally or your adversary in this journey. From the sweetness of peaches and the crunch of apples to the tang of oranges and the burst of flavor in blueberries, there's a colorful palette of nature's bounty that is not just enjoyable but also beneficial for your health. Remember, it's about striking a balance. While fruits like mangoes, bananas and grapes might be higher up on the sugar scale, it doesn't mean they're entirely off limits. Moderation is key. These fruits can still be enjoyed but in smaller portions and less frequently. It's important to understand that diabetes is a complex condition and what works well for one person might not work as well for another. Our bodies are unique and our responses to different foods can vary. Therefore, it's crucial to keep an eye on your blood sugar levels, especially after eating different types of fruits. So why not give these healthier options a try? Start incorporating these fruits into your daily diet and see how your body responds. Make your health a priority. Thank you for joining us. If you found this information helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more health-related tips and insights.